And this might just be the last video before I take a nice uh, little bit of a break over here. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. As per usual, welcome back to more esports talk. And thank you all for watching over the past, well, however long you have been watching. I really do appreciate you guys. And I cannot wait to actually take a bit of a break. And when I come back, you guys aren't ready for this, okay? Something you might not be ready for as well is the future moves of an organization like 100 Thieves who continue to make some gigantic moves. Now, I will say... Uh, this is in creative for Fortnite, but certainly a move that other orgs should be looking to hopefully mimic in the future as well. That being what Nateshot himself has called the future of Fortnite, being like a Minecraft or a Roblox. Well, one step closer, as in creative, it is now the Cash App Compound, the 100 Thieves facility, now directly in the game, which is super cool. Now, it's not in the main game of Fortnite, okay? Don't be misled about this, but it is super cool to know the 100 Thieves movements out there that are just, you know, continuing to progress, and hopefully other organizations can follow suit in the past. I've talked about this with Rogue Company, where they got their own weapon skins and their own character skins. In FIFA, there were several organizations, I would say 100 Thieves and Vitality were the two most noted ones to get their own FIFA kits. And now, of course, this in Fortnite Creative, the Cash App Compound for 100 Thieves. It's just really cool to see. Yes, there are plenty of games out there. CS, R6, Rocket League, so on and so forth. If you have a team, you can get skins in that game, but the games you don't have a team competing, if you can still get yourself in Inside the game I think it's really cool I think other organizations will hopefully use this as a stepping stone to you know to follow suit of what 100 thieves is actually doing so a pretty cool announcement and uh, I didn't see JHB in there but kid deserves it uh, what I guess not uh, imagine like loving someone so much like you give them everything right they become your person they become your partner and then you have a little one and you name it Jermaine. Like, that's... Do you guys know what I'm talking about right now? Anyway, obviously the bigger part of this video, guys, and definitely a more serious note of this video, is going to be another accusation of the N-word in this scene. Now, I'm going to be prompt and honest with all of you guys out there, and you can hate me for it. You can leave, of course, when I'm curious about your thoughts down below. I take these things very seriously, especially even when there is an ounce of doubt or a doubt at all around these accusations. You guys need to realize how serious these accusations are, and of course the repercussions that can be tossed out towards that player if it is, and even if it is not true, with these kind of clips going viral. I'm talking about NRG Fortnite member, that being Clicks, one of their biggest members, of course, one of the bigger Fortnite streamers on Twitch as well, as a clip now going all around, accusing him of using the N-word. He has now responded and denied this claim, and I will be honest with you guys, I believe him that he did not say it. I understand a lot of you guys listening might disagree with me. I have had many past instances of clips out there that I've defended the people because of a, of a mishearing of a word. I will tell you this, when I first heard the clip, I thought I heard the uh, the word that should not be said um, by anyone attached to an organization or any streamer out there. And then when he gave his explanation of it sounding like, like how, I then heard that. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I choose to believe clicks in this instance who has now responded. Um, you guys are free to think what you want, but you got to really understand when you say that someone says these things and you are not 100% certain, it comes with a lot of repercussions. So I am not willing to say that about someone like clicks. I am choosing to believe him and hoping I'm correct. Why is he just sitting there with his phone though? Like a how? Like why? I don't get it. But he's just sitting his own. Like a... And shortly afterwards, he had a statement about this after tweeting out exactly what he said, which was like how he further adds a twit longer saying about today. I wanted to talk about what happened today during the stream where people thought I said the N word. I wanted to say that it is not what I said. The N word has never and is not part of my vocabulary. From anyone that has ever spoken to me outside of streams, you know I have never had that word in my vocabulary as well. It was a complete misunderstanding, and with me speaking fast, what I actually said ended up sounding like that. I said, like, uh, how? And because I spoke fast, I ended up saying only, l uh, how? Which sounds like it. Even with that being said, I'm truly sorry to anyone out there that has been offended by what happened today, and I'm going to put a ton of effort moving forward to make sure a misunderstanding like this does not happen again. I have never said it, and it will continue to be that way forever. Love you guys. And like I said before, guys, I've defended players and creators out there before for these kind of misunderstandings and these mishearings as well, and I'll do the same here. It's just kind of sucky to be in a situation where I'm not going to convict someone if there is a doubt in my mind around this. It's not a dubs case where it was hard, it was heavy, and it was 100% 
clear and I do choose to believe clicks. I understand if you guys do not, that is completely in your right, but it is a controversial clip out there. But you, you know, I, I am left feeling bad for clicks, especially if he did not say it. And all of a sudden there's going to be for a long, long time. Think about this from his shoes, whether he did or did not say it with this instance and this clip being out there, there will forever be people out there who think he said it when he says he did not. And I'm kind of sick of being this I, like, I'm not going to convict someone who I do not believe actually said it. Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy. Drink some water, drink some coffee. What do you guys think about this? It's going to be really crazy when I get back here, all right? Can't wait to make some more videos. And uh, while I'm on break, I'll be thinking of a lot more ideas to share with all of you guys. And until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you back here sometime soon.